Okay, just the way you like it. And uh, make sure you change his dressing twice a day until it clears up. Sorry to be such a pet. Ah, you're just doing your job. Any other problems, you know where to reach me. Thank you, Dr. I'm just kind of envious. This has been a rough day for both of us. Why? Well, Ben Martin decided against an out-of-court settlement. You mean this thing's going to trial after all? You catch on very quickly. Yeah, but I don't want it to. Well, I'm not wild about the idea myself, Nancy, but uh, maybe it'll be all right if we just remember that as annoying as this is, it'll mean there'll be more money for us in the end. Yeah, but if this thing goes to trial, then I have to stand up in court and testify that Ben was wrong. I'm not so sure he was. brings you to the hospital. The blood drive. Just doing my job as a good citizen should. The publicity certainly doesn't hurt either, does it? One more week until election? Yes. Next week will be very important for both of us, won't it? I find out if the congressional seat Kate wanted me to have will be mine, and you will find out if anyone really believes you didn't kill her. Isn't it odd how both our destinies are so closely linked with hers? I believe you're slightly misinformed about the workings of our legal system. Does innocent until proven guilty sound familiar? The jury will be instructed to assume my innocence. And in order to convict me, guilt will have to be proven beyond the shadow of a doubt. Now, being a lawyer, I'm surprised I have to point that out to you. Well, being a lawyer, I know how these things really work. So, hold on to your illusions. I mean, if they help you through difficult times, I'm all for them. For the record! My innocence is not an illusion. I didn't kill Kate. Oh, excuse me. Congressman! I don't know why it's important, but I want you to believe me. For the record, I don't. Maybe it's because I want to believe that you really love Kate. Which I did. And you're grieving her death rather than exploiting it. We all see what we want to see. Is your pain for her as great as mine is? I find it hard to believe that the man who murdered my wife has any feeling but regret at getting caught. You haven't answered my question. I'll give my answers in court next week. And I promise you, you'll be sorry I gave them. I'm already sorry. Your actions have cheapened her memory. Yours destroyed her. I'm sorry you heard that. Excuse me. Dave, wait! Nancy, how many times do I have to tell you that Ben Martin performed illegal surgery? Yeah, but it was successful surgery. And he maimed and impaired you for life. Well, maybe so, but even if his attorney's only halfway competent, he's gonna have to point out that he saved my life. Uh... And even if it was illegal, you know, I still have my voice, no matter what it sounds like now. Oh, sure, and just listen to it. Look, Dan, all I'm saying is if I were on a jury, I couldn't just ignore that. Well, you also couldn't ignore my reasoning, Nancy. Listen, would you trust me? 
when I get through with that jury, they're going to be asking the judge if there's any limit to the amount of money they can award you, believe me. I guess that's just it. I, I'm wondering if, if I do trust you. Well, a lawyer's only hired help, after all. I mean, they can be easily fired. No, I don't mean that I didn't trust you in the sense that you were cheating me, because I, I would never do that. Well, what do you mean? Well, I mean that trust in, in the sense that maybe you don't have everyone's concerns at heart. Well, maybe you're right, Nancy, because I'm really not interested in what's in the best interest of everybody. See, all I care about is what's best for you. Now, you, you've never had anybody in your life feel that way about you, have you? No. Yeah, you're still just that little lost kitten out in the rain. And people still keep kicking you around, don't they? Yeah. See, I don't want that to happen anymore. Well, so let me help you. Let me bring you in out of the rain. Let me take care of you. Let me protect you. Either. You know, Nancy. You just make me feel like I could do anything for you. you know, I, I can't wait to get in that courtroom to show off for you. <laughs> you sound like a, a teenager. Yeah, well, that's how you make me feel, you know? Oh, well, you make me feel that way, too. Oh, good. You know, though, come to think of it, your voice really does sound better. I was hoping you'd notice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, doesn't that make you happy? Oh, sure, sure. I'm, I'm happy. Well, um, that's why, you know, it, it's not always like this. It comes and goes, and, and, and that's why I've been thinking about, um, I, I was thinking about, uh, look, never mind. Dan, look, I do trust you. I've never trusted any man like I trust you. Good. That's good. And believe me, Nancy, I do want you to get better. But you just might start thinking about making sure that your voice is at its worst when you testify. Huh? Okay. Dave, stop. Please, Terry, what I said was wrong. I realize that and I don't want to discuss it. I think you should. What purpose would it serve? Well, to keep it from happening again. It won't. As long as you're this angry, there's every chance it will. Shirley, uh, would you call Alice up in peace and tell her I'm running a little late? Sure. Thanks. Come on, sit down. Kate's death is buying him a seat in Congress. The media is lapping up his drivel about his mission to carry out the work she started for him. I'm accused of the murder, and the police are ignoring the fact that he's just as much a suspect. Dave, you have got to believe that the truth is going to come out. I'm trying, Terry, but it's difficult when he's using this tragedy to his advantage. It's, it's difficult for all of us, Dave. <sighs> what are the accusations of a hundred Lee Carruthers compared to the faith and confidence of one Terry Davidson? Or of one Dave Phillips. Lord, help me in my disbelief. Dave, how would you like to come to dinner tonight? Well, I'd, I'd love it. Uh, can I bring something? Just yourself. And maybe uh, some fatherly advice for Peter, if he's open to it. Oh, he's taking Vicky's rejection pretty hard, huh? Yes. Not to be loved by the person you love is rough. Even though I think I knew deep in my heart they weren't right for each other. Well, advice I don't know, but maybe we can communicate together. Dr. Phillips? Yes? There's a phone call for you. Oh, who is it? I think it's Dr. McNeil. Oh, I'd better take that. Uh, tell him I'll be right there. Well, thanks for everything, Terry. Uh, 7 o'clock, all right? Oh, perfect. Okay, see you then. All right, bye-bye.
Ordinarily, uh, I would put in a bid on a job like that. That's what I told him. But uh, considering the way the company's going, you know, that's the second time I've told that story tonight. Is it? Yes. It uh, was just as boring the first time, too. What's wrong, Stacy? Uh, I, I guess I'm just not feeling very well. What is it? I, I've just got a headache, but it's getting worse. Um, do you want me to go get you some no. aspirin? Or? I'd actually like it if you took me home. I'll, uh, right. I'll meet you in the car. Sure. Stacy, hello. Hi, Gil. Is everything all right? Well, uh, no. Stacy's not feeling very well. Oh, I'm really sorry. Listen, uh, don't let it stop you. Just go take care of her. I, I think I will, if, uh, if you'll excuse me, sir. Sure. Well, that's too I hope You're it isn't serious. Ah, here it is. The table's ready, Mr. Carpenter. Thank you. Something from the bar? Nothing for me, thank you. Sir? Yes, please. A vodka martini with a twist. Very good. Thank you. Wasn't uh, that Kate Phillips' daughter? Yes, yes. Uh, Stacy. She's uh, working down the Chronicle with Jean Redlin. That's how I know her. I, I knew Kate slightly. Uh, we were on the same museum committee. And thoroughly charming person. The whole affair was just terrible. Just terrible. I know. I have a feeling that that whole thing has something to do with what's upsetting Stacy right now. Well. Let's talk about something happier. I mean, after all, that's what tonight's supposed to be, isn't it? At least happier for us? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I trust everything is going smoothly with Eric? Oh, yes. All his bruises and uh, his pride have healed after that little scuffle he had in school the other day? Mm -hmm, most definitely. Good. Well, I knew he'd get over that. You know, Mim, every growing boy has to deal with the problem of bullies because you meet them all your life. Do you mind if I ask you something? I mind only if it's a criticism instead of a question. Oh, no, no, quite the contrary. I, I thought that you handled that whole situation very, very well. But as I said, even though uh, Eric does have to learn about how to handle bullies, he most assuredly needs the tender, loving care of his mother. Well, thank you, Daddy. Thank you very much. And I've been thinking that if you're not too happy about the amount of time that he spends playing with this computer at the house, why, the logical thing to do is to move it to your place. Daddy, are you... Well, that is if you have no objection. Uh, no, no, I'm not objecting at all. I'm just merely very surprised, that's all. Well, don't be. Uh, Eric's welfare is my principal concern. However, it might not be a bad idea if you were very sure that there were good locks on the doors and windows, because that's rather sophisticated equipment, and it's much too much of a temptation for, shall we say, sticky fingers? I'm sure it would be very safe. Well, how about it then? I feel quite certain Eric won't object, and the nice part for you is that you can supervise just how much time he can play with his computer. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Good heavens. Well, Charles, I think you know my client, Nancy Lawson. Uh, yes. The waiter seems anxious for us to sit down. I think I'll go clean our table. <laughs> well, Miriam, I certainly hope that there's no hard feelings between us uh, left over from the custody here. I'm glad to see that there don't seem to be any between you and your father. Well, yes, we're trying. Well, that's good. That is very good. You know, if all people would just try to work out their differences the way you two are, well, there'd be no need for us lawyers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, uh, Miss Lawson is waiting for me, so uh, enjoy your dinner. Daddy, I don't trust that man. Oh, he's all right as a lawyer. Though I must say I certainly don't approve of at least one of his clients, but he does very well for me. Daddy, still, would you please be careful? Because I didn't believe one word he said about being glad that things are going well with us. In fact, that's probably just what he doesn't want. So, you know, in case he should start suggesting that you keep your distance, don't listen to him. Because we're doing what's right, and I wouldn't want him to spoil it for us. <laughs> of course not.
Aren't you coming in? I don't know. Am I invited? For a minute. Thank you. How's your headache? It's better. Good. Thank you for dinner. I'm sorry I wasn't better company. You were fine. I had a great time. I hardly spoke. I made you take me home early. If that's your definition of a good time, you must be awfully hard up. Stacy, don't you understand? It's not what we do that makes me happy. It's the fact that we're together again. Is that what tonight meant? I hope that's what it meant. Well, tonight was, um, it was, well, it was what it was. Please don't make it any more than that. Well, I'm sorry. Why did you say yes when I asked you out? I don't know. I shouldn't have. You said yes because it was something that you really wanted to do. <laughs> Even though I hurt you, you couldn't forget the magic that we once had. I can forget. Pain's more real than anything else. I don't believe you. Look me in the eye and tell me that you don't feel anything for me. I don't... Will you please let go of me? Stacy, I love you. Well, at least Peter called. Well, better late than never. I remember a night that Amber didn't come home. We waited, waited, made the usual phone calls. Uh, then about three o'clock in the morning, she came waltzing in. Kate was even angrier than I was. You should ask her about it sometime. She... Excuse me. I, I uh, still sometimes forget. That doesn't stop happening for quite a while. I didn't mean to throw a wet blanket over our evening. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. Well, thank you. You know, in a way, it's, it's as if I lost her twice. First her marriage to Lee and then her death. The pain does go away, doesn't it? Yes. If you let others help, it goes away faster. Yes. Letting others get close to you when all you really want to be is left alone. That isn't easy, is it? No, it isn't. But I think... I think if you really search your heart, Sometimes you find that being alone really isn't what you want at all. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. I think that's very good advice from somebody who knows. I'll try to take it. Do you believe that I still love you? I think you believe it. I also think that you're still in love with me. Maybe I am. Stacy. But it's not enough anymore. I don't understand. No, I don't expect you to. Explain it to me. I can't. You owe me that much, No, Stacey. I don't. If you love me, it is enough. Not after what's happened. Not after what's been done. It could only last for a short time. This is crazy. You're not making any sense. We could love each other forever, Stacy, if you would just make a commitment. I know what I'm talking about, Gil. No, you don't. It's just your fear talking. Well, maybe it is, but it's valid. You're just afraid that what happened before is going to happen again. I promise you, Stacy, it's not going to happen. I'm not worried about that. Then what? Stacy, what aren't you telling me? Well, I guess I'd better be going. Thanks again for everything. You sure you don't want to take some of that cake home? Oh, I don't think it'd be wise. Besides, I think Peter can finish it up. One sitting, if he gets the chance. <laughs> Tell him hello for me. I will. And if you really think he needs to talk, uh, think of some clever way to, uh, well, for us to run into each other again. Don't worry, I'm a master of the setup. <laughs> <laughs> will you uh, be at the courthouse on Monday? Yes. I'm glad. Well. Good night. Don't you want this? Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, let me help you. Oh, fine. Go. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, you've got a button missing. Do I? Oh, uh, I, uh, I never buttoned it, so I never notice it. 
Well, next time you come over, remind me, and, and I'll take care of it. I will. Well, uh, good night. Good night. Drive carefully. What? Am I supposed to accept this? Am I supposed to pretend that it doesn't make any difference? Well, it does. I want to know what you're keeping from me, Stacy. I don't have anything else to say. I'd like you to go now, please. Stacy, I know I'm right about us, and I'm not giving up. 